We're going to pull out a T post, a 2 and 3 8 SS 40 post, and a post that we put in the ground by hand. These two are driven in the ground with the MT85 and the T-Rex pounders. Sometimes you have to pull posts out of the ground and you either A, don't have a machine to do it, or B, don't have the access to get the machine in there. It's got this notch up in here so you can move your chain as freely as you want. You can go to X mount or you can continue to shrink it up. You're using your weight to pull the post out of the ground. You know, if you happen to be up there and, and the weights and stuffs, you know, you might actually be able to pull some bigger things out. But also, it's got a nice big metal foot on it so it gives you more surface area so you're less likely to sink into the ground. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to hook up the chain. We're gonna put two wraps in it, lift up our handle, get our hang in place. Ah. So yeah, that thing, that thing was pretty well in there. That was easy. So we're doing three posts just because there's no posts left behind. This is to demonstrate really that it can do T posts, round posts, round pipe posts, and wood posts to make sure that this thing will work for every style. Well, I like how the chain just falls down that post and re-grabs. That's pretty nice. So, yeah, that would have sucked to pull out by hand. That was pretty sweet. Now for the last one. This is one that yours truly, that guy, put in the ground. Ah. He got it in there. I'm still able to get it out, but he got it in there. It's the yoinker. If you have somebody helping you, make sure you don't lose your chain down the hole. I mean, that would really suck to have to reach down there and pull the chain out. Make sure it's latched in nice. But as far as this, if you don't have the machine to pull it out, this is awesome. I like it. We've said it before and I'll say it again. If it doesn't say strain right, it's probably not a strain right. You have a good dang day.